ever has to, or woman, because women can experience this too, but it's, it's, it's a little different for women. But for men, I hope no man ever has to experience this experience ever in life. Because what I mean to tell you, I literally thought that my, my junk wasn't going to work no more. I literally thought my junk wasn't going to work no more. I, I, Bruh. Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Omari Bryant and we are back for a much, much needed life update video. Excuse me throughout this video if I do a little coughing. Part of one of the reasons I have not been filming. When I first got to Atlanta, I'm still currently in Atlanta right now. I um, came when it was really cold and heat and HVAC is not my favorite anymore. When I lived in upstate New York, I didn't have a problem with it, but I guess I just have not been around it for so long. Blowing heat irritates my sinus, and it's it's awful. So if I cough for a moment, whatever, I'm going to cut it out, whatever, but still, just y'all bear with me, okay? <laughs> We're now, again, um, I know I talked about it on Instagram, but you guys have not seen new footage just, just yet. Look at the quality of the footage guys my lens is bigger now i have a microphone so i'm sure i sound a lot better too and I actually have a light on there right now i don't have the light on currently right now but because i think the lighting is pretty good but i mean just the lens alone like it's so much bigger so it lets in so much light so i am so excited to um to have these new gadgets and stuff like that you know we're growing i felt like since we're growing i need to go ahead and up the ante on the quality okay so i don't have a glass of wine but i did um like, like i said i wanted to have this is not ideal but I do have my chick-fil-a lemonade that i went ahead and got earlier mm. listen if y'all know me lemonade is is my favorite I cannot wait um, to go ahead and move back home, which we're going to talk about that first, so I can make cane sugar fresh lemonade. Like, it's going to be amazing. I just can't wait for that. So, life update. We are in 2023. What is going on with you, Omari? What are you doing? We don't hear from you that often. What the hell are you doing? Let me just be honest with y'all. I have been working... I worked, worked, worked. Y'all know I worked, worked, worked a lot. I did the basically three day, three jobs, damn near. Dental. Uh, I'm still there theoretically as a um, as like in the temp pool as as needed. As far as I know, I don't know. They probably did something shady and got rid of my ass, but who knows? I don't know. But at this moment, currently, right now, um, I am still planning on moving back home next year. I'm still planning on moving back home to Jamaica. I actually spoke with my cousin not that long ago, and she told me some great, great information. She has a piece of land that she's willing to let me have. That is big, because that means that I can narrow down, okay, I don't have to buy a property. I can buy a tiny house in, this, in the meantime until I build my house, or whatever the case is. But of course, if I can come up with the money to build my house this year, why not? The year is still fresh and new. I can still go ahead and do it. Today is only, um, today is February 25th. Y'all see my handsome nephews too? Yes. So today is um, February 25th, okay? So yes, I am still planning on moving back to Jamaica. I cannot wait to go um, this year. I am going to be making a trip soon to go. I need to renew my passport. I have not been to Jamaica literally, um what next year makes 10 years <laughs> since i've been back to jamaica so it's been a while uh, i definitely need to go especially if i want to live there and it'll happen and of course we'll do a vlog and everything about that um and i'm gonna give you guys steps every step of the way you know what does that process look like as excuse me theoretic um i am an american citizen so what does that look like me be from a, from an american citizen moving to jamaica so what does that look like uh you know what does the money that you need to have look like and so on and so forth so we're going to discuss all of that um you know as as those times come now as far as for work i'm sure you guys are asking okay you're not doing dental anymore what you doing to make money 
y'all gotta ask so if y'all don't follow me on instagram here's my <laughs> ig definitely go ahead and check it out i post content on there on my story every day um i will be making a tiktok soon and we will have um uh vlogs like mini vlogs on tiktok I have a love-hate relationship with TikTok, but I'm just going to go through with it. And then I have a comedy um, TikTok that is coming out as well. It'll be Caribbean comedy. Uh, I've wanted to do this with my younger brother. And just to touch on that for a hot second, he is no longer here. Um, my little brother came to come stay with me. I was hoping that things would work out, but it didn't. So, you know, I love him from a distance and, you know. Yup, 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 yup. Yep. Life goes on, so he's no longer here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I have decided that Lyft it needs to come to an end. <laughs> I do enjoy doing Lyft to a point, okay? I'm going to go do it today. Uh, I prefer to cut hair. I prefer to make content and things of that nature. But until income is solidified with, with other things besides Lyft, I have to do what I have to do. So, that being said... Lyft will be coming to an end soon. I've been doing Lyft actually less and less. Um, I've been able just to do it just in the morning and maybe if I want to in the afternoon. Big game changer, right guys? Um, I would like to see it. And I have decided to work with uh, with one of Quan's friends. He just started a trucking recruiting. Well, I wouldn't even call it just like a trucking recruiting. The name of the company is called High Talent Solutions. And what we specialize in is helping individuals get jobs, no matter what their background is, you know, whatever the case is, we try to help them in every type of way that we can get them the career that they deserve. Um, right now, we're working with truck drivers. We're going to be working with um, getting class uh, B drivers for buses and things of that nature. So I'm going to be very busy with that. You guys are going to see that in the future and future vlogs of me working and stuff like that. Um, and it's a completely remote position. So I get to not only uh, work remotely, and make good money but I get to have more time to make content for you guys and still travel like that that was the biggest win ever uh, <clears throat> as well so we're still moving to Jamaica I, I got rid of a job we found something else um, I, it's, I'm still new at it I'm pretty sure it's gonna be much better and then our uh, next is we're gonna be starting a small car rental fleet uh, yeah. girl what's going on yes yes I said it a small car rental fleet guys I am super excited when I get back to Tampa that is actually the first purchase I need to make um, along with getting my place so just to touch on why I don't have a place yet Ciao. so when I was applying to get this apartment the apartment that I've been wanting for and I'm trusting me I I have I'm not gonna stop till I get it I, I'm going to try one more time. The third time. Well, I didn't try three times. This will be the second time. This, this will be the second time I'm going to try. And, I, and I'm going to get my apartment. I'm, I'm just speaking that in, into existence. I'm going to get my apartment. And and you all, already know I'm going to be real with y'all. I had some stuff um, that was preventing me from getting it. Mainly credit wise. We, we already know that this, this country and this stupid ass credit nonsense. And I don't understand why we're not understanding that things are expensive as it is but i'm not even gonna tangent off of that but it's ridiculous so i'm gonna get my apartment next um along with this first fleet car so i originally wanted to go ahead and just get my own car my you know i just was like nope i just want a car and i was like noah omari we have to make more executive financial decisions and also entrepreneurial minded positions and uh, decisions position decisions and we also need to make um, millionaire mindset decisions so I am going to purchase a car something like this this is actually a rental that I have right now and this is rented from hire car um, one day I'm definitely gonna reach out to them like uh, y'all need to give me a sponsorship because I just I talk about you all the time so um, hire car uh, this is where I'm renting the car from the person that I'm renting it from this is her first time renting and she's actually a Jamaican Great, right? <clears throat> I asked her about the process and everything, how quickly it was to get started. She said, I literally did it one morning, that same afternoon. I saw your rental request. I was like, okay, bet. So I'm going to get one car and I'm going to do it this way. Every time when it's out on the platform being rented, bet. I'm making income. Set aside that we have expenses for if things come up, whatever the case is for that vehicle. 
And then uh, what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna go purchase um, our Tesla. So the Tesla is something that I'm looking to get this year. The Tesla is gonna be my personal vehicle, but it's also gonna be a vehicle available in the future for rent. Yup, yup. So my goal is to have a small fleet of three vehicles. Um, we're going to start off with the first one, the Tesla, and then probably the third one, or the second one, and then the Tesla. Whatever I decide to do, we just have to do it based off of how much revenue and if it's making sense. The first car is literally going to be a test because I have to be vigilant and understanding that I'm taking a huge risk, and that's with any business venture. We're, t we're taking a risk here. Um... <clears throat> But that is something that I want to leave here in the state so I can continue to make money. Uh, and then we have our barbershop. So, you know, we have many, many big goals and stuff like that that we do need to work on this year. I know some people would probably say, oh my gosh, that's too much. It really isn't. If you strategize your time, you know what you want to do, and you're passionate about it, and you have Jaja support, Fada God support up above, you're going to make it. You, you, you're going to make it. So, you know, that's that. That's that, you know. Now, um, I will touch on this and the next vlog that you guys are going to see, I will be in the hospital and so on and so forth because I had a kidney stone. I did talk about it um, on my Instagram story. Thank you for all of the support, all of the love, everybody checking up on me. Like, I really, really, really wholeheartedly appreciate it. I was honestly in the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life. I hope that no man ever has to, or woman, because women can experience this too, but it's, it's, it's a little different for women. But for men, I hope no man ever has to experience this experience ever in life. Because what I mean to tell you, I literally thought that my my junk wasn't gonna work no more i literally thought my junk wasn't gonna work no more i, I <laughs> thought i was just gonna i thought i was just done i was like dang i haven't even hit 30 yet and it's broken already <laughs> Wait a damn minute. <laughs> but I'm good now. I'm much better. I'm out of pain. The kidney stone has been removed. Um, I've healed. I feel much better. But that healing process was something else. Like, it's it's two weeks of, of a lot of discomfort. It is. To have a kidney stone removed. So, guys, the, 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 in, in a nutshell, in a nutshell... Um, I, I know you guys are thinking, Omari, are you doing better mentally? Are you doing better physically? Are you doing better, you know, just, just w with your outlook forward? I will have to say I'm not a hundred percent across the board. I'm not, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there in every which aspect and anybody that is going through a tough time right now, all I'm going to keep saying to you and you probably are not going to want to hear it because I don't want to hear it sometimes. I just vent, 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 and I don't want to hear it. Just keep being consistent and keep trying. It's going to get better. The blessings that come, they come in little nuggets. Okay. God is only going to give you a blessing when you have bared and experienced the first trial and tribulation at a time that he gives you. I'm not a preacher, but that's that's what I'm that that's what I'm realizing. OK, when you realize that and understand that life becomes so much better, it becomes so much better. It does. OK, so. We are planning our move to Jamaica. We're starting a fleet. We are opening a barber shop. And we are getting financially better. And of course, we are growing. Okay? We are growing on all social platforms. So those are the five things I'm going to be doing. Okay? Now, talking about income real quick. Okay? I ain't bragging, but I'm just saying. I said to myself that for this year 2023 i wanted to hit $10,000 okay consecutively either in the first or second quarter i'm going to be honest <laughs> i did not think i was going to hit this at all i just threw it out there i didn't even say nothing to nobody it just said in my mind i said you know i'm going to try it for december i cleared 10 grand in december i did don't ask how i did 
um like like i said in the last vlog uh my job barely added to that but yeah it just comes to show like if you put in the hard work and the time the money could be made easily like the money could be easily made easily but y'all i am so happy to to finally be you know able to sit in front of the camera a little bit more um i have to discipline myself and do better with editing I do. That is a that that is something I will admit. I do have to do better with editing and getting content out in a timely fashion, and I'm I'm working on that. That is something I'm working on. But I went ahead and got and got all this new equipment and stuff like that. So I definitely need to put it to use. I definitely need to put it to use. So guys, in conclusion of this video, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Welcome to all the new family members. Welcome all new coiners. Definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button if this is your first time seeing me. Um, content, I'm telling you, I give not only the real deal, um, I give financial advice, I give life advice. Uh, your guy is a growing entrepreneur. I started my entrepreneurial career literally in 2020 and have been pushing ever since. Okay? So, that being said, um, tell a friend or two because it is good for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. And it'll be a vlog. Um, I do have some story times that I need to go ahead and start telling. But I'm really honestly thinking that I'm going to start a Patreon. <laughs> I think I'm going to start a Patreon because some of those videos are, um, yeah, <laughs> I think I need a Patreon. So, um, definitely if you guys think I should do that, let me know. Cause I definitely want to bring some more story times to you guys. I will still bring some obviously to YouTube, but there are some that just, I, I can't tell, I can't put on YouTube. I just, I can't do that, <laughs> but all right guys, peace.